Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. So just as a, I guess, forward for this, we're making a racetrack. Uh, we started while I was doing a podcast, but honestly, we weren't doing anything important. Uh, but so, I guess, here we go. Enjoy. Part of it is I'm not even sure what I want out of the racetrack. Fun. Yeah, I want fun. So I started making out of boxes, but I think the boxes were a bad move. Yeah, maybe. So, is this going to be a racetrack specifically for hovercrafts, or are we going to move cars onto this thing, or what's I the was, end goal? I was thinking it would be a multifunctional racetrack, like works for anything. General purpose. Yeah, I agree. I think that'd be a really great call. Yeah, but, you know, obviously we'd... Well, mm -hmm. no, I don't know. I, I was thinking if we'd date... move to flying vehicles, we would need to find some way of... Uh, I don't know how we're going to do a race with the flying flying vehicles. We might be better off... Um... That's true. If we're going to do flying vehicle races, then you're probably just better off having, like, giant floating obstacles to, like... Yeah. Like a course yeah. type of deal. Yeah, I don't know how we do that. Uh, just make basically make big... Well, I mean, I, I guess if we did the flying thing, we just make a copy of this world, rename it or something, extend the racetrack up and move all of the obstacles higher or something, and kind of treat Maybe. it like, uh, you know, Sonic Racing flying. Yeah. So, like, pretty close to the like ground. That. Yeah. Like, almost like Descent or something at that point. Yeah. I hear they're making a new Descent game. Are they, uh, the demo's on Steam already? Fantastic, I need to cover that. Uh, yeah. You should also play Sub-Level Zero, if you haven't already. I, yeah, there's too many games, man. But I'm well, definitely gonna try and do stuff. I mean, I, yeah. Sub-Level Zero I've, is just I've literally already, Descent. Yeah. So. I've been using the YouTube, like, auto-uploading software and stuff today, and it's been enormously successful at, like, uh, making my life a lot easier, so I'll probably be able to get more, like, ongoing series as a, at a time and stuff, and do good. more more games without, like, putting in as, uh, without eating up as big of a chunk of my time. So I can yeah, definitely so look into doing, uh, that sort of stuff. Okay, I'm, so... I'm gonna get rid of the you, boxes. What are your thoughts about the, Get rid of the boxes? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Um, build-wise. I like, I like the idea of the wooden wall just because it's lightweight and we can make it as tall as we want. The boxes were kind of awkward to begin with. Cent yeah. Centering them was a pain, whereas the wall is good. Uh, uh -huh. Do we want to... How about we uh, divide the map in half? One leg of the race will cut straight through it, so the obstacles will be terrain. Or we could just okay. go around the entire outside. What do you want to do? Because Badlands, we have kind of a natural barrier, whereas... Yeah. If, if we oh, cut through you, the... you think you want to cut through the middle somehow. I yeah. I think that we absolutely need a tree section. We okay. definitely need to cut through that cut the map in half. Plus it's a shorter racetrack. Yeah. And that way we could also do you wanna keep it like a straight um I was thinking we keep it a straightaway and we'd throw an obstacle. What we can do is like make it a wide and... straightaway. And uh like, well, okay, we keep it a straight away here for, like, the Badlands and have ramps and stuff. Yeah. But then when we when we cut through the middle of the map, we, uh, we rock and roll with, um, like, just keep it, like, big and wide and let the natural terrain kind of work out. Yeah. Everything for us. Let's see, Jake That Man, sounds like the, mo the best recipe for fun here. I saw your email, but I do not have time to respond. I am oh. so busy. I, so I'm in the mm -hmm. middle of apartment hunting with Keith. We found one. Uh, uh -huh. and we're, uh, I'm filling out the application, or was filling out the application, but I yep. have to talk to my folks about, uh, co-signing, potentially, seeing as, right. like, I've got a you pretty You have full... no credit history. Well, I've <laughs> got a small... This big. Yeah, I've got a small credit history. I've had an apartment before, uh, uh -huh. and stuff like that, so, well, like, like, I have some credibility. Everyone gets a co-signer on their first, like, big thing like this, you know? It's yeah. just how, it's how banks work. Um, but, uh, my, my worry is... Less so for for even, like, credit score, but more so because my career is weird as shit, and most people are going to look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, so the bank will be, like, they'll want somebody with, like, a stable income. Yes. And, um, I mean, 
for your parents, like, I'm sure their credit score is certainly good enough yeah. to, uh, take on, like, an apartment. Even if they, even if the, the bank basically considers you bringing on, like, zero to, yep. like, that, uh, relationship. But whatever. We, yeah, we did you find a really... You're perfectly well aware of all these things. I'm just, like, reiterating oh, yeah. the sake of conversation while I build the Great Wall of Racetrack here. We did find a really nice place out in, uh, Dallas, though. Two, two floors. Uh, okay. actually laid out very similarly AC. to what you have, but smaller. Uh, AC is mandatory by law. In all so, of Texas? Pretty much, yeah. Houston. Okay. Uh, I, at least in, uh, Austin and Dallas from what I saw. Ah. Austin, that's what I meant to say. Oh, so you're gonna get, you're gonna townhouse it as well? Yeah. I would yeah. recommend it. I mean, it's a small place to keep and you get, like, all the full amenities. Yep. It even has, uh, uh how hookups. Many bathrooms? Uh, one and a half. One upstairs, oh, okay. one That's downstairs. Yeah. And the two bedrooms would be split by the bathroom, so we wouldn't have to worry about Keith noises while I'm recording, or vice versa. Oh, you know that Keith. When he's yeah. in the bathroom, it just sounds like, man, is there, like, a carnival going on there? Yeah, it's weird. Like, I swear to God, there's it's like, like an elephant. There's symbols, you can hear a lion roar, and you're like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you okay, man? And he's like, me. He comes out, he's just like, covered in sweat and he's just like man that was a great shower it's like are you are you he's sure? like <laughs> bone dry but his feet are just like sopping wet it's just like <laughs> what yeah no. keith why but, why why you gotta have carnivals in the bathroom like that every single day in this totally true thing that's happening <laughs> I, I like the idea of um, living with Keith for a year or two or whatever, and we both like get big, get to be big YouTubers, and I just start spreading weird rumors that have like no basis <laughs> in anything. Like um, mm -hmm. he really likes pickled um, pickled onions, like uh -huh. just that is his <laughs> favorite food in the world. And he has like people come two... up to you at cons with like plates full of like platters of pickled onions. Yeah. I think Keith would literally end you. Or at least that's what he would say. <laughs> also, um, I'm going to probably make like a really nice shark painting. Oh wait, no, I already have one. I'm gonna Why put a shark. Why is it offline? I thought it was streaming. Hang on, I need to look into this. You took your stream down for a bit at least. Yeah, but then I brought it back up. Oh, weird. At least I should have. That would explain why nobody was chatting. <laughs> I would explain it. OBS has been really, really, really malfunctional lately. Like, I have been having so. no issues with it. I've told you that, or I mean, I was complaining in the podcast, like uh, Slack, yesterday that every single recording I made uh, yesterday is corrupted. Yeah, I saw that. I was kind of impressed. It's really weird. I even restarted the stream. I even restarted OBS between like the podcast and Borderlands, and both of those came out corrupted. Wow. Uh, well, you were streaming Borderlands, right? Yeah. Oh shit! You don't save your video though. Yes, I do. Okay, it you got corrupted. Well, no, 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 no. Like, um, you don't have video archiving. Yeah, I don't split for... it off. You're right. You should really do that. Cause like, well, uh... I mean, life was great until you guys came along and told me like, oh, this is how you need to do everything. But it's fine. So how do you split it off? Well, Excellent. okay. No, 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 no. Uh, so there's an option you tick for Twitch that specifically, um, that, that specifically oh, says, like... Oh, up your footage or something? Well, no, it just saves a copy of your, of your stream for, like, a couple of weeks. So even if you lose oh. the recording, you at least have the, like, Twitch stream you can fall back to if you want, if you need to. Uh, okay. I've done that with several things, like Dark Souls and, uh, 8-Bit uh, Armies. Uh, what are we doing? Okay. We're making a giant racetrack. That starts in the Badlands OBS crashed. and loops through. Huh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I'm I'm turning this racetrack right here. Is there like a cool like valley pass or something? No, it's just a fuck ton of trees. Oh. Close enough. Go ahead and say something really quick. Beepity boopity boopity beepity. Okay. Let's try starting the stream again. I mean, I know that this footage is probably never going to make it onto my channel, but it's still, like, 
I want to make sure that this stops happening, you know? Yeah. Hey, there we go. Now it's working. You should actually consider putting it up. My, uh, my audience I put up been... some scrap mechanic, um... My audience has been, like, I asking what it. your YouTube channel is, and I'm like, I mean, he mostly focuses on Twitch from what I can tell, but... Eh, I'm turning it around. Because, I, mean, I don't know... I you... I went from having no backlog to having a three-week backlog as of this afternoon. Yep. So... <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but, like, my channel is going crazy, uh, specifically because of Scrap Mechanic. Uh, I gained about 100 subs in basically a week, so... I'm getting about 300 a day. Yeah, I know. Like, it's, uh, I'm just saying, like, I'm getting some, some splash donage from this. <laughs> just yep. as much. It's a very, very exciting time. Yes. And I couldn't be happier right now. I was... I was actually considering just being like, ah, screw the whole key thing, I'll, I'll just get my own apartment. But then I realized that would be kind of a dick move. That'd be a super dick move, dude. <laughs> yeah. I would have been it's able like, to oh, afford it. It's like, oh, this thing that we were talking about for, like, doing for, like, a year and a half, uh, the month that we're gonna do it, I'm gonna decide, no, fuck off. Well, he was, he was definitely pussyfooting about it, because originally we were planning on Austin. Um, but that yeah. doesn't work. Yeah, uh... Mm -hmm. Guys, we're, we'll do cross out in like a couple of days. I just sure, yeah. We don't s stream long enough most days for it to be worthwhile, and I want to make this right. racetrack so we can actually have a racetrack, and Bird can actually try and make a competitive craft as opposed to Derp Motrons. I just I don't know, man. I just channel Derp Motrons. I've noticed. It's like it's like my specialty. I'm like it's like this Swedish chef is me. And spaghetti is dirt matrons. Am I gonna play Hyperlight Drifter Co-op? Sure, why the hell not? Question is, is Sounds it gonna fun. be online or offline? Because if it, I well, think it's only local uh, co-op. Yeah, if I've it's heard. only local, that that means that pretty much no. Yeah, Ladybird can play it with me, and she'll yeah. be like, "What? I don't, I don't understand this game. I'm scared. I keep dying." And like, I know, I keep dying too. <laughs> I think she wouldn't have fun. No. Like, I love, I love she playing with... peaceful games, because she gets stressed out, like, when playing video games that are, like, especially violent ones, very easily. So, she likes puzzle games and Stardew Valley and stuff like that. Oh, man. I can't wait until Stardew Valley Co-op comes out. We are going to I make know. the shittiest farm. We're going to get married to... Linus. Pam. Pam and Linus. And then wife swap every single day. I'm actually curious how they would handle the relationship system. All right, I, so... I, what I'm guessing is that basically both characters get married to the same person. <laughs> I, I think they'd just take <laughs> the marriage system like completely out. For uh... I, It would be either that, or you're allowed to marry uh, other players, which I think would be actually totally fucking adorable. Can you imagine like playing that with like, you know, like boyfriend-girlfriend couples being like, let's build a farm together. Yeah. And they get married. And they get married in real life. That'd be funny. Why won't you buy me a mermaid pendant? What? Wander. What? Why won't you buy me a mermaid pendant and make an honest woman out of me? What? Ew. Okay, find a dishonest one if that's what you're into. Also ew. Possibly syphilis. What do you want from me, Wander? Aside not syphilis. syphilis. Not syphilis. I'm, okay, okay, we've established a baseline of not syphilis. I'm glad I'm glad we've got that worked out. I have many other diseases I can offer though. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> Yep. I think you're legitimately actually grossed out. I fucking won. I don't care how many times you're going to troll me tonight while doing this, but I won that conversation. Okay, so so mm. I'm trying to. Oh, mm. I'm trying to decide what to do here, bird. This side is like yeah. too perfect. What do you mean? Like get over here. We can we can work on the badlands. I'm ball really later. far away from where you probably are. Hop on your hovercraft and drive over. My hovercraft is really far away from where I am. Fine, I'll come get you. My hovercraft is not shit and close. 
I would say that my hovercraft has feelings, but it's also very, very self-aware. So I think you're fine calling it shit. I actually haven't really seen you drive yours, apart from the couple of failures, as it, like, flew off without you. Uh, actually, it's okay. It's, this is definitely one of the more interesting, like, trying to go for, like, aesthetic-looking, uh, hovercraft builds I've done. Go? I didn't, I, I legitimately did not touch it. I honest to God. I might have, I might have just left it behind and walked this. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you're building the wall, you might as well just walk it. But it's a easier long than, wall. Like, getting in and out of your, it's easier than getting in and out of your hovercraft, though. No, it's not. It, I think it is. This is a long wall. Yeah, it spans one map. So what? Yeah. Mexico's paying for it. It's fine. I have short little stubby dwarf legs. No matter how fast I make these motors, Spoiler alert, just... we all do! Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, I totally just it. blocked this like an idiot. You know, it'd be really nice Let if me... there were, like, multiple dwarves that you can eventually, like, switch between, like a yeah. Waluigi. I just want to be Waluigi, <laughs> Like, you have man. a fat, like, short dwarf that's all slow, but it's, like, strong as hell. Yeah. And then you have, like, a skinny, like, slender dwarf that's, like, looks like a, you know, like, he should be delivering pizzas and shit. Yeah. Yeah, like, totally one of those guys who, like, has a bicycle here. and, like, they, they, like, deliver, like, Chinese food, so he's, like, all, like, slender as hell and tall. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Not overwhelmingly. Okay. A reference to a video game or a movie? Yep. Uh, no, it's just a reference to, like, life in, like, big cities where people can, don't drive a whole lot. If you want to get, like, takeout delivered, a lot of people do it by bicycle. And... Generally speaking, like, if you get, like, Chinese takeout, you get it delivered to you by, like, a Chinese dude. And Chinese dudes are, like, the stereotypical image of them as a takeout driver or person is that they're really tall and have, like, spiky hair and anime stuff. Shit, you have wildly overstepped, uh, overstepped my, my assumptions for, like, how far this wall has gone. Can you make it a little taller, actually? Nope. Really? That's maximum height? Nope. There we are. I'm making it taller. It's gonna be really confused. I was like, this is a really short wall. I'm making it taller now. Where are you? I'm adding, uh, corner posts. Oh, okay. I, I don't know why we need corner posts, they just felt thematically appropriate. I mean, it's best to have something like that rather than us clonking all immediately into a wall whenever there's a turn. Yeah. Uh, let me know how far to take this inland, by the way. Or, like, yeah, see, in this direction. That's kind of what I wanted your opinion for. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and hammer this out right now, then, real quick. Yeah. Here, you want to slap a seat on the front? I need a hood ornament. Absolutely. Okay. This thing is Hopefully super nice. Hopefully that doesn't mess with the balance. Oh, bird. This looks kind of perfect already. It's got, like, kind of the built-in pathway. I love it. It looks really great. Like, this looks like it'd be a pleasure to drive through this, like, little path here. Um... Don't worry about it. Huh. Classy. Yeah. Like, over this hill seems like it'd be great on cars and otherwise. We might yeah, have to. I think this is an awesome spot. Oh, hold on. So don't worry about we'll it. We'll just take it from like enough in so that we capture like basically where like this hill uh, meets like grass and turns green, and we'll just yeah. go from there. Sound good? Yeah. And then Ooh. we can negotiate around other obstacles like the launch pad. Yeah, we could. Yeah. How about we Phoenix. have the How about we have the starting line be here, like the Perfect. starting. The starting line is like right through this little area, yeah. and like goes through this. And we go, like, we go north first, and then uh, go around like right. I've got so like go... free magnetism today. I've noticed. What are we doing? We're making a racetrack. Okay, so question. This is kind of where I wanted yep. to start uh, discussing because the earlier part is kind of no brainer. So we've got, uh -huh. so we got this like hill area, but it might be a little bit wide. I wouldn't take any of this hill in. This hill sucks. Yeah. 
Well, we've got this, like, I shitty mean, area down here. Like, if we want a really hard part, we can go through the... Actually, oh, no. Oh, like, it has a dog leg where we have to go through this, like, flat land? Yeah, okay, so oh, this... Oh, that's what we have to do it. We have a turn here where we have to launch ourselves off of this cliff. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm liking that. It's pretty narrow, which means that, like... Somebody's gonna get hung like, up on these here. trees. Yeah. Okay, so then and we... Then you, and then you go from the flatland, like, straight up to the north... To, through these, like, bumps. Yep, and then you have to hook to the right. Yeah, hook to the right, and then we've got these logs in the way. Perfect. Because the other thing I was considering is, like, trying to loop around, or, like, maybe go over some of this. Here, let's check out this, like, shitty area with all the trees. Because I kind of like the idea of forcing everybody to, like... Go through the trees somehow, but if it just leaves you, this area sucks. Yeah, it does. This area is really bad. Let's have everyone go over the cliff. Yeah, it's way more fun. Yeah, this. I mean, this road wouldn't be bad. It'd be like a really nice, tight little area. But going over the cliff could be really funny, mm -hmm. unless, unless we we have to go this way, and up. Oh, this is perfect. We have to go this way up and over over the cliff. Like go through this shitty area. Then over oh, here. Oh, I see. So, uh, let's go ahead and put some wall down at the base of the cliff, like the. And then we go I to see. the left here. And then you have to go. You have to go around through the shitty area, and then you go. And then you loop over it. That's fantastic. I love yeah. that. Okay. Okay. Give me. I'll. I'll get out and I'll start like making our making our okay. vision here. Yeah. I'll. I'll start working from I guess where you were, or what do you want to do? It doesn't really matter to me too much um because i think we have a good clear vision of what we need to be doing yep no admittedly uh, um make sure you end up use on the, the launch pad to start like measuring yeah things i'm sure uh, just a reminder yeah. you hopped off on the wrong side of the water tower for the launch pad so you see this yeah. see the cornfields kind of oh dude yeah, the cornfields are a pain in the ass uh make sure that we have to drive through both cornfields yeah they're really bumpy. That's going to flip some people. I'm mostly concerned with uh, with doing this this area first, though, and then I'll I'll uh, do. Understandable. Okay, that. I'll st I'll start working from where you were, uh, seeing as I've got the hover okay. vehicle. This track is going to be super fun. It's going to be super dickish, and that's kind of the point. The badlands are going to be the nice part where we're like, oh man, this is so much nicer. Yeah. And then lap number two. With super jank suspension. It's like. <laughs> dog, 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 dog. <laughs> Flip. Hit a rock. No. Yeah. We need to have giant arrows, too, to guide us along the path, so we make sure that we all stay the course, so to speak. So, we want to line up these cornfields so you have to go through both of them. Definitely. So, let me... I'm, I'm going to exclude That's the annoying. water tower from the from the racetrack. Yeah, I don't... That to, like, guide us along through this area, I think. Oh, okay. There we go. That's weird. That's the button order I'm working with. I'm getting stuck in all the trees today. Yeah, it'd actually be really nice to have... Oh, I know why my balance is thrown off. What's you up? Put, you, put your, uh, you put your toilet seat sideways. But you didn't take that thing off? No, I totally forgot, but uh, I thought I, I hadn't been paying any attention. So I actually thought you'd uh, you put it on, like, you know, facing up or down, mm -hmm. as opposed to sideways, which uh, seats aren't you, you, evenly you weighted in this game. You spoiletly forgot. <sighs> Would you say that that pun was very crappy? You know what? I'm just not gonna. I'm just not gonna give you the satisfaction of anything right now. Mr. I don't upgrade my weapons in, in Dark Souls games. I don't did need you, to. Did you never upgrade your shit in Dark Souls 2 either? I upgraded my uh, Dranglic stuff. Okay. And granted, I got to like level 70 without upgrading a single weapon. You fuck. What? It's like you... you well, maybe not fuck. You chump? Noob Lord? And... And then when I did upgrade it, all of a sudden the game became a lot easier, which means that upgrading weapons is for scrubs. Uh, no. What are you going to tell me yeah. next? Next uh, next playthrough, you're not going to level at all? 
Maybe I won't. Because by that same logic... Because leveling up is for scrubs. Alright. Yeah. I'm going to start calling you Deku. Because <laughs> you were screwed. Cute. Have you, uh, have you been keeping up with Boku no Hero or nah? Not at all. Okay. I have been watching it, and I have been very happy with it. I should definitely check out, check out some more episodes. I kind of forgot about that thing. Entirely. Oh yeah, I forgot about it too, and then I got really excited because I had three episodes I hadn't seen, and I was like, yes! Yeah, that's always a fun thing, isn't it? I forgot about this show, and it kept going when I wasn't watching it. Yeah. The worst is when you're like, I forgot about this show. Oh, it stopped. It's gone forever now. <laughs> like, I did that with uh, Eureka, and then I, like, tried watching the later seasons. I was going to say Sci-Fi like, Channel. There you go. Yeah, I tried, I tried watching it, and I was just like, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is really yeah, bad. Yeah, it really got terrible. Like, the first Thanks. season or two were awesome, and then it's just like, huh. There is, like, thank, no redeeming. Thank Wheaton. Yeah. Thank it is so, today. It is so weird that... Will Wheaton and Felicia Day are like literally Curses. the like they're the, like they're the closers. They like they yeah. show up at the end of everything just to try and milk it with their like built in fan base just for a little bit of extra money. And you know the fact that they are technically professional actors, I guess. I mean, I think I have more respect for like Felicia Day than I do as than I do for like Will Wheaton in terms of like the acting department. But, whatever. They're fine enough people, I guess. I don't see the appeal of either of them too much, but whatever. Did you call Will Wheaton the, the acting department? I mean, he has a <laughs> chair there, but oh. it's like, kind of like a stool. The acting department isn't a real place, by the way, Wander. I know. It's a metaphor. I was confused. Okay. <laughs> You're bringing it up as though it was like a syndicated thing, and I'm like, who would name it that? No, no. You might as well just it's call okay, it. Though. You might as well just call it Wheaties by that point. <laughs> I wonder what Will Wheaton fans call themselves. Chumps. Burn. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah guys, need, this is this is, like this is like one hundred percent uh this is one hundred percent Trump stream. Sorry if you guys are uh politically motivated against, but uh we're building some walls. We don't really have any minorities to keep out. I'd say the British, but like uh, we've already succeeded, so I don't really know. Someday though, you can't really trust the British. Like one day we're gonna wake up and we're gonna have like a limey like red coat hanging out in our, like, living room, and he's like, Oi! You gonna have to call to me, you all! And it's just like, God damn it, Purple! Why? It's like, would you like some tea? Like, no. I want beer, like an American. American. And they find out that beer is outlawed. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you there. I know that's a terrifying thought. I dislike beer so much. My mother's like, here, have a have have a bottle, and I'm like, why? Ew. Gross. I like beer. I just can't drink it, man. It makes me throw up, so I just always associate it with the the uh flavor I'm of throwing up. beer beer vomit, which is not a good flavor. Well, yeah, no wonder you don't like it if that's the the reaction. Uh, I cannot blame you. That and tofu, like Turns out I'm not allergic to tofu, but I had so many experiences throwing up because of tofu as a kid that the psychosomatic reaction is just... Orf. Ew. Yes. Why? Tofu is like the most benign food thing ever. Oh, uh, the texture was like really bad for me. Like I just... No. I just couldn't deal with it. Huh. Yeah. I mean, I think that fried tofu is a perfectly fine texture, but... Like, you can get, like, slimy, gross, undercooked tofu, and it's just like, ah. So, for frame of reference, my my mother is so, like, I'm gonna say so utilitarian that, like, no matter how something turns out, she will serve it. So, uh, uh -huh. earlier today I made a pot of chili, and uh -huh. she, uh, foolishly turned it up to, uh, high, and then we all sat down to eat, and I, like, get up to get some more, 
And I'm like, why does it smell awful now? And it turns out, oh, instead no. of setting it to simmer, Everything they got just, burnt. Mm. it maxed it out. So my dad's like, it's okay, and then just starts mixing it up. And so I went back for uh, leftovers later, you know, this evening, because I was hungry. And there's just burnt rice, like, mixed in, and, like, burnt rice bits. And I'm like, well, I guess they're eating this, and this was my best pot of chili I've ever made. So, well... But, uh, they will do that with anything, so if the, uh, so if the tofu comes out wet and slimy and super unsatisfying, that is A-OK -okay to feed to your child as a first introduction to said <laughs> food. Ew. I love my parents, but they are so thrifty it hurts. I'm picturing your parents, like, finding, like, a ferret and be like, ooh, we have a new pet! Everyone um, loves a ferret now. Like, not even a ferret, like, just a weasel. I mean, they're about the same thing. Um, Basically. So, not exactly in the same vein, but uh, we, we had snails outside. My mom's like, alright, we're having snails for dinner. No, mom, we're not having yet. They had snails for dinner. I hate cereal. First off, that's really fucking gross. Second off, that sounds like a great way to wind up with a, with a parasite. Yeah, I mean, they got cooked, but... Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> parasites are still parasites, man. No, they died, but it was still gross. Really, really gross. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I That was kind of the point where I started to not trust my mother's cooking. Every once in a while, she say, was like... Now I understand why you cook so much for your family. Yeah. It's purely a survival mechanism. <laughs> yeah. I'm really stoked to move out, though. <laughs> Because Michelle is a much pickier eater than I am. So, uh, mm -hmm. if anything's wrong, she'll just throw it out or, like, stop. And we'll, like, clean up and start over or do something else. So, like, burnt food doesn't happen. Just, it just goes. Alright, Wander. Uh, go ahead and look at where I am. Start putting in the, uh, let's start working on a turn here. Ugh. Alright, do you want me to come help? Because I am, I am still just no, no, walling. No, no. I'm on like the I southern section. I'm walling too, but I wanna I wanna look at what you've done and what your vision is, and figure oh, out how shit. to uh, like do this. How the fuck are you so? F oh, it's because you don't go like maximum height on the entire way. You're just making a framework. Okay, actually, bird, we're probably gonna want to put the turn uh further in down your way, as opposed to my way, because I want to make people okay. go over this like hilly area, because this would be kind of awkward. Uh, same thing with the hilly area on the other side. So don't delete oh, any so wanna... wall. Oh, Where? you want to turn... Like, here, let's go back to the launch pad. Let me you go find... You want to turn this thing into be, to be the inner wall? Yeah. Yeah, so okay. we just... Actually, so we guide people through this segment. Yeah. And then we'll need to have them turn in to get to the cornfields and stuff. Okay, yeah. I got it. Because force, forcing people to go over the... Um, Forcing people to go over these big hilly sections, anybody with lighter crafts is going to have a bad day. Uh, like me, mm -hmm. for example. I mean, you remember I was flying through the air for an extended yeah. portion of this. Being able to and do that would be... Trees. Yeah, it would be awesome to, you know, mess with the lighter, <laughs> faster people. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the more, like, balanced but slower could actually have a better time with it. I don't know. Yep. We'll figure it out. 